Hey guys, this is 18-2. Welcome back to another episode of Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. In the last part, we undercut we uncovered a major conspiracy. I mean conspiracy. And beat the Southeast Asian Zoo. Off camera, I spent way more time than I would care to admit uh beating uh, two, oh my word, the, where is it, the Endangered Species Zoo, oh my word, okay, I will be honest, in order to do this one, I literally, I, I, I had to, uh, basically, I named everybody I could Dr. Doolittle in any spelling, even though I know what the correct spelling is, just in case one of the Dr. Doolittles left so that I would still have a Dr. Doolittle with the, which the Okapis could breed. I also had to build a second exhibit for the Okapi so that I had two potentially breeding pairs of Okapi. The Okapi finally gave birth with about half a month to go. I also kept the guests happy. That wasn't as bad. And, oh my word, the aquatic show park. I... I, 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 I just... It involved... Let's say it involved uh, hiring a bunch of maintenance workers, uh, redesigning the entire zoo layout minus exhibits and a mass exodus and that's how I won enough unhappy people left that I was left with happy people now we finish those headaches and get to the two-year scenarios all the advanced scenarios except for two are 24 months. The exceptions being the Dinosaur Island Research Lab, which is 36, and the Conservation Zoo, which I refuse to believe is an advanced scenario. Uh, but in this part, we're doing the Island Zoo. Now, this will take me about three hours to do, so let's get right into this. The city of New Orleans, Louisiana, has hired you to run their new zoo. Unfortunately, the only available land is a small series of oh, sorry, is a series of small islands that extend out into the Mississippi River. Those islands are in an environmentally sensitive area. Local officials have given their blessing for the zoo's construction on the condition that no sweeping dane changes are made to the existing terrain. As a result, the Change Terrain Hike tool will not be available in this scenario. However, it is acceptable to alter the type of terrain in exhibits to fit the needs of the animals. Uh, in other words, you can only change the terrain height in within exhibits. Now. I suppose if you wanted to, you could change the exhibit terraform and then delete the exhibit and I think it would stay there. I'm not going to try that because that would just be horrendously expensive. So as I said, 24 months to complete. Achieve an average guest happiness rating of 93. Hate that one. You just know that in the 24th month, month it's just going to drop down 92 and then you lose. Zoo rating is 75, I don't usually have a problem with. Animal happiness rating of 93 um, ordinarily wouldn't be a problem, but again, with a timed scenario, if too many animals poop on the on those last few those last couple minutes, their happiness goes down. And exhibit suitability of 85 for 10 exhibits, and we all know how difficult that will be for me. Uh, so, quick note, I did uh, do a little bit of uh, experimenting, and uh, one of the things I've learned is I can't use my normal strategy. Why don't buoys give me any money? 
I'm deleting them anyway, because they're just obnoxious as far as I'm concerned. But if you notice, in addition to being um, less than ideal zoo terrain, there's also no foliage for me to tear down and get money. I could get money by deleting all these uh, fences and footpaths, um, except, so, yeah, I could get 200, okay, I could theoretically make money by doing that, 248, uh, less 50 is a profit. The, the issue is, whoop, I actually like the aesthetic. Uh, I, I, I guess I'll delete these because I'll just go nuts otherwise. But I, I like the aesthetic and I don't want to get rid of it. Oh. Yeah. Although, again, just for that one segment that I was using as an example. Technically, I should exit and re-enter, but you guys don't want to see that. In fact, you guys probably don't want to see me just showing the map over and over again. Uh, so, to start, the very first thing. We all know the best way to make money in Zoo Tycoon is a restaurant with the caveat of with as many animal exhibits as I'm going to have and looking more to the mechanics of the compost building with a sheer amount of animals and time the compost building will be should be either the highest or second highest grossing item uh, building uh, and I also did some experimenting with uh, multiple compost buildings because I'm a little rusty on them. And I discovered that y you only need one. Alright, I think that's all the, uh, the exposition I need to give. So now, we start... And I'm still using Microsoft and Bluefang. I have honestly at this point forgotten which one does which off the top of my head. Uh, all I know is I, I just want that little extra edge so that I don't have to re-record three hours of footage if I screw up. Alright, so they want African sub... They are African savanna creatures, therefore they want savanna terrain. Uh, now, a little bit of rationale. Some animals, as we get into the advanced scenarios, I'm going to go a little bit more into mechanics. Uh, I, I've done more brush-up research. Uh, there are certain animals that guests really like. Uh, lions being one of the more popular. Uh, so, by starting off with a lion exhibit, I'm going to wind up with a good, a nice initial draw of people. Let's see, sand and freshwater. Uh, also, the, uh, lions are especially be good because, if you notice, they're $700. That's a really cheap animal. I can't put that there, so let's put that there. They like foliage. They like the umbrella thorn acacia. Uh, and when we're dealing with... Yeah, I, sh I should really go into how I wound up developing the obsessive uh, exhibit building uh, habits I got into. Uh, each 
creature will want a certain amount of rocks and foliage, as you will no doubt have noticed by this point in the series if you somehow hadn't before. Oh, cool, I got the 15,000 bonus for getting a 100 suitability. Um, yeah, that is why I pay extra attention. I mean, under most circumstances, you don't need to worry about maximizing uh, animal happiness and suitability. But for example, if, in, if instead of umbrella thorn acacia trees, uh, I put in a different tree that they like but isn't their favorite, it wouldn't give the same happiness or suitability bonus. By using these, I'm able to maximize the suitability. Again, 100 suitability. And I, all, and I have 94 animal happiness. Um, and I do have my next exhibit planned as well. This one isn't so much because uh, it's a popular uh, animal. In part because I don't know all of the popular animals. But I happen to really like using this animal because it takes such takes up such a small space. The giant anteater doesn't need a big exhibit and is six hundred dollars. Oh, it's like, wait, what do you mean you only need more more of you? Oh, lion, yeah. Um, I don't know why I bothered checking that when I don't say anything. Don't say anything. <clears throat> When I know they want rainforest floor as most of their terrain needs grass. All right, let me get the grass and dirt in. Uh, I don't. Yeah, as I was saying, I don't know for certain if anteaters are a popular animal. All I know is that they're cheap, they don't take up much space, and I happen to really like them. Uh, did I... I really put in too much grass? Huh. I could have sworn. What do you mean too much fresh water? You were happy with it before. Fine. They... As a, I keep... Wait. Yeah, they like the small burrow. I am going to put a second uh, burrow in there so that they can uh, breed without me having to, like, baby them, pun intended. So again... The goal early on is to maximize, especially maximize animal happiness. Uh, now, why is it the animal happiness that is more important than the... Why is animal happiness more important than the suitability? Uh, because of people, is the short answer. The long answer is because... People like see really? I already have a baby anteater. Huh. The Okapis could learn a lesson. Yes, I'm still sore about that. Why would you ask? What was I saying? Some of the uh, basics of getting people uh, happy is they want to see happy animals and they want to see as many animals as possible. One of the reasons that this particular scenario is going to be so tricky 
is because uh, I won't be able to just put exhibits on both sides of the footpaths. Which means they'll see fewer happy animals at any given time. Which means they don't get as happy. Like, right now, my guest happiness is 60. And if we take a look at why, um, you can see... Okay, so yeah, some of them are starting to get hungry or thirsty, which is why I just built the restaurant. Uh, people aren't too happy that there's not much to see in the zoo right now, which reminds me, I also did a little bit of experimenting, um, $29 seems to be just as good as the initial starting. I saw somebody post it somewhere, and I'm like, nah, that can't possibly be true. It's gotta be a sliding thing, right? Nope. No, it, it is done in tears. It, odd choice as far as I'm concerned, but hey, I'll take advantage of it. It's an additional $7 per person without sacrificing any happiness, as far as I was able to find. I'll t I will take that 10 times out of 10. Because Zoo Tycoon is not a game that I would do any role-playing on. Now, here comes fun parts. First off, I'm an idiot. I mean, that's nothing new. Uh, more importantly, uh, I forgot to start the research and conservation. Um, that's not research and conservation. That's the that's the ticker. No. <sighs> okay. So as we see, we only have the Zoo Tycoon stuff because it's that because it is a Zoo Tycoon scenario. They obvious they obviously didn't have access to marine mania or dinosaur digs at the time. Why am I bothering to point it out now? Uh, because it's something I somehow managed to forget to mention. Uh, instead of being being oh, sorry, instead of getting access to new stuff, you're brought down to what was available at the time. Alright, yeah, I definitely want as much into research as I can because I need animal shelters and I need staff education. Uh, I, I suppose animal care and enrichment as well, but uh, those aren't quite as important. Uh, the reason animal care I don't think is quite as important as staff education is because if your staff are well educated, uh, they can do more, and so the care just kind of handles itself. So, as we can see, I already have a zoo rating over 75. I have an average animal happiness over 93. Uh, I need the guest happiness to go up. Which, my plan is for this hub island to be where the guests go. For their guesty needs. The compost building. Oh cool, one of my animals already pooped. Uh, right, I got cut, I cut myself off mid-sentence there before. Uh, compost building gives uh, $50 per animal poop. Personally, I think it should vary depending on small poop and large poop. I feel like I should get more money for elephant poop. But yeah, so this is this hub island is what I want to be the uh, guest-centric island. So, so we have two animals. Part of the reason I'm doing so much talking is because I'm just getting my mon my uh, funds in place. Another... so... One of the things to really pay attention to 
uh, in scenarios like this is basically how picky the animals are. As we might recall from at least one of my older scenarios, <coughs> Marine Show Zoo, <coughs> uh, flamingos, for example, are horribly, horribly picky. So we don't want picky animals. Uh, we also want cheaper animals in general because funds are tight. Caveat being uh, popular animals are perfectly acceptable. Um, I still wouldn't get anything like a Bigfoot because $10,000. So, for this next, this next animal, it's always a good idea to see how big the animal is before building a fence. I just keep forgetting to do it. I'm only remembering it now because the pressure's on. Uh, ostrich. And flam ostrich, I'm sure, is a picky animal as well, and more importantly, takes up a lot of space. Uh, black bucks would take up a lot of space. Brzezowski's wild horse. Hmm. It's a thousand dollars, but it's also an endangered species. Or it was an endangered species. I'm pretty sure it's off the endangered species list as of the time I'm saying this. Javan Rhino. Hmm. Hmm. Hem. Ha. Hem. I think a good option is to ignore this island for now. And let's come over here to the one island with elevation differences. Uh, also, let's uh, make a quick path uh, over here. And let's go with... I'm going to go with Mountain Lion. Now, ideally, I want to get two animals on this island. Um, but I don't know if I can. I might be able to put Bighorn Sheep around the edge. Uh, but I'm not sure, but I do know mountain lions fit the criteria for what I'm going with with this scenario. Really? Huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, the one I was hunting about was the more cliffs or hills. Um, I, I honestly was not expecting that. Okay, so they want... Uh, what else do they need? Yeah, needs... Brownstone... Oh, fresh water, right. and brownstone. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, I can't uh, change the terrain here. Hmm. I'll alter the type of terrain. So all that was more or less pointless uh, because I'm not going to be able. No, I might. I still might be able to. If that is exhibit suitability of 65, uh, I will see if I can do if I can make this work. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, foliage. Okay, yeah, now it's fine with the uh, topography. So, rocks, foliage, shelter. Uh, they like sage bushes. Sage. Is that guest just walking off the path or... Yeah, no. Oh wait, or is that a zookeeper? That might be the zookeeper. That's the zookeeper. Everything's fine. Uh, except for the fact that I want the entrance over there. Uh, so temporary... Pick up. Pick up. Put down and back to the lines. Rocks. Now, I'm not content to just put rocks and I want to double check with the sage, and that's why. Because the zookeeper's recommendation isn't always the right option. So, now I have an exhibit suitability of 96. It prefers more cliffs and hills again, but again, suitability of 97. Why? Why did it just go up? Not complaining, mind you. Just confused. Oh, ooh. so I can't put a footpath there. but I think I can there, but I don't want to. So, this island... Yeah, without the slope, I'm not particularly fond of that. So, this island will go around, which does mean I should be able to save some money by having that one fence work for both. I think I said I want a goat, right? Oh, no, it was sheep. Eh, whatever. The first thing to check is this big enough. Yeah. Yes, it is. Alright, let me get the maintenance worker while I'm remembering to do that. Because I, I don't really want the mountain lions to uh, get into the bighorn sheep exhibit. I, I, I have a thought that that might be something bad. I, I don't know what's giving me that feeling, but I, I just get a feeling that letting lions into a sheep exhibit is uh, would not end well. Though I do, leg I am, I do legitimately forget whether or not animals can eat each other in Zoo Tycoon. Brownstone instead of graystone.
Um, uh, let's get this bigger. Once I... Oop, that was an error. So it needs rocks, foliage, fresh water. I had also accidentally put in too much brown stone. All right, shelters, rocks, and foliage. Uh, as we can see, my people, my number of people is uh, dramatically increasing. Now, a good portion of that is the fact that, y you know, I, a I actually have a zoo now. Okay, they also like the sage bush. I like the sage bush too. mostly because I like sage. And yes, I, yes, I'm aware that the sage bush and the sage herb are not exactly the same thing. Mm, oh, let me not put in an oriental highland rock. And let's take advantage of a really weird glitch that I still don't understand the ins and outs of, but I'm perfectly content to exploit. The, the rock formation glitch, as I will call it. I don't know if it has an actual name. Suitability of 87... 88, and I need... 85. Uh, unfortunately, I'm now at my limit for the Highland Rocks. I'm pretty sure the zookeepers can still get everywhere. I'm going to have to do it this way. I Come on, bring up the grid UI. Or, actually, that works too. Okay. So that's all fine. And the bighorn sheep should be in a good exhibit. Animal happiness average of 95. It's, it wants more cliffs and hills, but I can't do anything about that. When they breed, uh, that'll get better. And it has a suitability of 94. 